I'll be sharing three stories with you. First up, this one from the Crypto Basic. Here's how much higher XRP could rise with just one of crypto's $1. 56 cents trillion market cap. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I believe it's a terrific approach to show how little capital needs to enter XRP in order for it to soar through the stratosphere. I've held XRP for more than six years, and there's a reason for that. I firmly believe that this will produce wealth that will change people's lives. For me and a great number of you who are listening, I am convinced that there is a chance. It's also not a given. Not that there isn't any risk. Investing is dangerous, of course, particularly with cryptocurrency. But there is a genuine chance, in my opinion. Furthermore, because XRP is so small, even a tiny baby boobich can cause XRP values to skyrocket. The headline report shows 42S surge in XRP payments to global merchants is another one. And that, in my opinion, is great news because it increases the likelihood that XRP will actually have long-term viability. And there's this from the Daily Hodl as well. In fact, a few days ago this news broke. It's not XRP in particular, but I haven't gotten an opportunity to speak with her. However, I do want to discuss it in this video. It's simply absurd. The SAC say, says a hacker posted a false Bitcoin ETF approval announcement and compromised the regulator's X account using SimSwap. I'm sure you all remember that on January 9th, there was a phony announcement on X, the original name of Twitter, that spot Bitcoin ETFs had been approved, originating from the official SAC account. The market made a short recovery before rapidly turning negative. The next day, we received the official approval. And so, what went wrong in this case? It turns out that the SEC is not just a collection of Ashat predators, but also a bunch of stupid, inept idiots. To be honest though, I had no experience in finance of any kind before moving further. I'm not a financial advisor, and nothing I say or write should influence you to purchase or sell anything. I'm just a hobbyist who likes to create YouTube videos about various aspects of cryptocurrency for fun. Okay, let's get into the first piece. Titled once more, this is how much higher XRP could achieve with just one crypto's $1.56 trillion market cap. Really, people, we don't really need it. We'll hit an all-time high, and we don't need that much money coming in, I promise you. Simply put, when the market is hot, it has to be. And that's why it's thrilling to be here right now. Most people believe that we are entering the zone where Bitcoin will reach an all-time high, even if it takes a little longer than expected to happen later in the year. And if it does, I really don't see how XRP wouldn't reach an all-time high if Bitcoin did. But I'm really doubtful that Bitcoin would achieve that without doing that. Anyway, the following is how the essay reads. If XRP were to take home an additional one of the $1.56 trillion cryptocurrency market, investors might profit by 55 participants in the cryptocurrency market trade XRP for a pitiful 51 cents per coin. It's obviously a little higher right now, at least while I'm recording this. Today, there was a little surge. In any case, this represents a 6.16 decline from the last seven-day peak of 55 cents. With a market value of $27.93 billion, XRP is the sixth most valuable cryptocurrency out of all of them, with a market share of $1.56 trillion. In context, XRP's worth suggests that it only commands a meager 1.79 proportion of the entire cryptocurrency market. Therefore, it begs the interesting issue of what XRP would be worth if it were to gain an extra run of the $1.56 trillion market capitalization. Interestingly, $15, $0.06 billion is the equivalent of one of $1.56 trillion, essentially. The runs increase would raise XRP's market share to a costly $43.53 billion, given its valuation of $27.93 billion. This amount is comparable to the $297 market valuation of a BNB Binance coin at the moment. The point is, even if you only had that once here and you could think about adding that market cap on top, well, XRP isn't quite a dollar. It puts it at a little over 80 cents. I don't need to read the entire article to get the point, but here's the thing. Since you already know that the market cap is equal to the current market rate times the circulating supply, that's if you just slap it on top. Simply put, they're stating that's how it would be with more market capitalization. 
However, what's more intriguing is to think about what transpires when actual money is involved. Because there is a multiplication impact when actual money comes in. Thus, they are speculating that the market capitalization of XRP might increase by approximately $16 billion. However, you'll see an incredible multiplier impact if you're talking about $16 billion in actual revenue. That would probably be enough to push XRP to an all-time high. That's the reason I say the bar isn't too high. Not quite a lofty bar, but instead a new all-time high for XRP. Just that extremely particular circumstances must exist for something to occur. In other words, if you look back at previous periods of high market activity, you can see that XRP trails behind Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency markets. However, Bitcoin moves in lockstep with stock markets. Thus, there is a chance for all of this to happen when you have that going too. Which we actually do. However, there isn't nearly enough money in XRP to cause a doubling, tripling, quadrupling, and so on effect even if you manage to grab that tiny fraction which won't amount to much in the grand scheme of things. Yes, you would consider XRP to have a market capitalization of perhaps hundreds of billions, and again when you're at this low, everything always seems unattainable. As I write this, you can see that XRP is just shy of $29 billion, but until it happens all of a sudden, it seems impossible. One day you wake up, and it's gone. For this reason, I simply don't care what happens, because you never know when it will end. When it does, you are either exposed to the asset that is moving or not. And this is the reason so many people lose as. They chase the fans that are popular at the time and miss the opportunity to invest when things were, in comparison, far cheaper. However, this is the main explanation for my high level of optimism over XRP's future. It's practically entirely empty. Furthermore, it's not a criticism of XRP. Simply put, hardly much money exists in today's huge cap currencies. Cryptocurrency has been around for 15 freaking years, even as of January 2024. You might claim that there's a good amount of money in Bitcoin, but I'm not sure about everything else. It is arbitrary, but a lot is there. You nearly have 29 billion in XRP, that's not outrageous at all, as you should be aware that much less than 29 billion dollars were truly invested to achieve that market capitalization. So it will be interesting to watch what transpires, so long as the stock market continues to rise. The CMT 500 has recently reached all-time highs every day, and as long as Bitcoin follows suit, even if it doesn't go down to the second minute of the day and so on. I do think XRP will follow, even if it does so a little bit later. It will continue throughout this market cycle. It is difficult to envision a world in which that does not occur. I simply don't know when it will occur. While markets are unpredictable, furthermore, adoption is still rising, which is something I believe is crucial to the long-term survival of XRP and all cryptocurrencies in general. Which leads us to the headline at hand. It nearly seems as though there are individuals on Earth who value XRP for purposes other than mere speculation. Okay, how about we do that? Who could have imagined that? Meeting cryptocurrency payment processor BitPay has released a white paper outlining the sizable portion of international merchant payments that cryptocurrencies like XRP will handle in 2023. According to BitPay's study, in 2023, a greater number of consumers than before will use several blockchain networks to make payments. XRP was one of the most popular cryptocurrencies used by merchants to make international payments. I wish to mention this now. This brings up BitPay once more, correct? After there was legal clarification, BitPay added XRP again. So in July, XRP received legal certainty. And here is what the BitPay website looks like on August 4, 2023. Their headline offers global support for XRP. Use BitPay to buy, store, trade and spend XRP. So obviously there wasn't really much of a chance for this to happen before then. But it rose very quickly as soon as it was released. Check this out then. Crypto aficionados utilized XRP to enable 7,310 payments to companies in 113 industries according to the cryptocurrency payment processor. Thus, once more, a 42 rise over the prior year. Thus, other coins have far more value than Bitcoin. That won't come as a surprise though, as it leads in market capitalization. Furthermore, XRP received a bad deal as a result of the SIA. Again though, 
I just wanted to draw attention to this since, as you can see, XRP payment usage is significantly increasing. Recently, there has been a lot of discussion in our community regarding the significance of developer involvement in any successful blockchain. However, I want to emphasize once more that there are other factors that will contribute to XRP's long-term sustainability. The impact will be the same in the real world. Tracking developer activity is one crucial statistic, and there's no doubt that it's crucial. However, there are more factors that will contribute to cryptocurrency's long-term survival. I simply want to express that it's good to see this. And then there's the S. According to the SEC, hackers used SimSwap to get into regulators' X accounts and publish phony notifications about the approval of Bitcoin ETFs. And I have to admit that on the day that this occurred, it was still very beautiful. And I suppose this is one of my favorite crypto-related moments. It is what it is. It demonstrates the SIC's incompetence, and you're like, yay, this happens in crypto. It is what it is. The word piece means this. The US Securities and Exchange Commission is disclosing the specifics of the event in which an unauthorized person gained access to the market's regulator's social media account on Platform X and posted a bogus message. The deceptive communication from January 9th claimed that the SALC had approved all applications for spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. A hacker had hijacked the market's regulator's X account and published the phony message, according to Commissioner Gary Gensler, who made this revelation minutes later. These people are extremely wealthy because they have shared numerous messages over the years emphasizing the value of account security on any platform on the internet in the modern era. They were simply imparting knowledge to us, acting as the adults in the situation. Make sure you complete this, utilize your Tufe and all of that stuff. And then incompetence is the reason for this. Look into by using the SIM swapping technique, which involves switching an account's phone number to one that the hacker owns and giving them full administrator access. The SAC claims that a hacker was able to take control of the market regulator's X account. According to the quote, the telecom carrier provided access to the phone number not AC systems. There is no proof, according to SSE officials, that the uninvited party was able to access SEC data devices, systems, or other social media accounts. Close quotation. The SACC claims that after gaining access to the account's phone number, the hacker altered the password for the SIC's X account. Law enforcement is currently looking into a variety of things including how the uninvited party was able to get the carrier to switch the SIM for the account and how they found out whose phone number was linked to the account. Close quotation. And have a look at this. According to the SIC, the multi-factor authentication feature for its X accounts was ineffective at the time of the incident, but is now operational for all of the commission's social media accounts. That's incompetent. Users who want to access a website or application must first submit two pieces of evidence, which makes multi-factor authentication generally thought to be more secure. People, they truly had a great time. They simply spread the word to everyone else to utilize two-factor authentication. This process is known as multi-factor authentication. However, they aren't really living up to their words. All they're saying is stuff. Subsequently, the account was compromised, leading to worldwide consequences for the cryptocurrency markets. Additionally, this resulted in the liquidation of several individuals, dissolved as a result of their incapacity. This is really beautiful. Even though it's truly unfortunate that all of that occurred, it's still one of my favorite crypto moments. Not because of the suffering of the others, of course, but rather because it's so ridiculous and exposes Etelizesi's incompetence. And that's it. Naturally, I feel bad for anyone who got screwed over even though, you know, maybe don't play with leverage. But even so, I won't hold it against them. After all, if you're doing that, you shouldn't have a US government agency mess up your attempts to participate in the cryptocurrency markets due to their own incompetence. This is absurd, is it not? What's up in real life? I sometimes wonder how's real life. Are you not amused? Yes, I most definitely am. I'm not a counselor for finances. I don't write or say anything that should influence what you purchase or sell.